情你会怎么做？他倒是告诉我，我怕听不见。一见起的火把，是你时的魔法，慢慢的渗入我的心逐渐。你举起千斤更难逃脱，抬头看天空，暗处在飘落。可一是歌手，是作家，写诗词，行诗，当然那些爱情小说。雪花绕伴着你左右，爱情在燃烧，看着你火口。你最爱看彩虹落下，我明天。Good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. Today I am、uh, going to give you a、uh, a little overview on a recent conversation I had with the domain commander. <clears throat>、um, first of all, I needed to do this, and、uh, second of all, I've been very concerned with the geopolitical situation, and thirdly, I've been so caught up in problems that I had on a personal level. My VPN went down, forcing a a、uh, deletion of my OS and replacement with a new OS. Taking everything and saving on a backup drive, and then the backup drive collapsed. So it was one problem after the other, and I'm doing this all on Linux. So I guess I'm becoming a Linux expert, more or less.、Um, But everything's up and running right now, and I want to send this out to you. So、um, take it as you will.、Um, I've been very、uh, worried about you know the election. Every time I try to look at any American news or English-speaking news, it's just it's just off the charts. No, no, off the charts news is normal out of the United States around election time. You're going to hear about the incumbent being the greatest person since sliced bread, and the challenger being terrible beyond belief. But it has reached new heights here. It, it's it's reached a level of ab absurdity. Okay, and I think it's just it's changing. It's crazy. So um, what um, what I wanted to do is.、Uh, Explain to you guys、um, that when I see the the news, I just get depressed and it looks so hopeless. Sure, there's things going on in BRICS and all this stuff, but you know, United States seems to be completely embracing the neocon agenda or the neocon、uh, ideology. Which、uh, parallels that of the、uh, Israeli current ruling Netanyahu's ideology, wanting to be a mini superpower in the Middle East, something along those lines, or whatever you guys might want to call it. It just seems to me kind of really ants fighting over ant hills kind of nonsense. But I'm. Living on a little ant hill, and、uh, their conniption fits are going to affect me, so I'm concerned. And so here I'm going to tell you, I'm going to paraphrase what it, what the messages have been. There have been numerous messages, and I want to tell you. The first thing is, you know,、uh, the main commander is pretty dismissive of when I、um, mention anything regarding news. It's almost like the domain commander goes and kind of giving me these like little slaps. Kind of tells me, you know, why are you even wasting your time on that stuff?、Um, he tells me, don't bother with things that have no concern to me. And the message that comes to me. I got to use、um, AI image generation is the best way to describe it, because the the domain commander、uh, uses knowledge that I have to give me messages and give me, give me insight and information. And basically, he says, you know,、um, when you generate an AI image, different things will pop up in the image. Let's suppose I I ask an AI to、uh, generate a picture of a man and woman kissing. Okay. I say do a baroque image of man and woman kissing, and、uh, how let them be in a ornate、uh, living room with a tapestry behind them. 
and there will be a couple of pictures generated, and one of the pictures might be this old guy looking at them in, in a offhand way, or and I have examples of this, or there might, or there might be a cat sitting off in the corner, or there might be an array of coffee cups and a bottle of wine. So, really, guys, what what is going on? Do you know? What do you think? So these. You know, these these oddball things that show up in the pictures I didn't ask for, but they just show them up show up. They're like background information that adds perhaps context that our minds fill in. This is an important concept for you to understand how our reality works. A template is formed, we enter the template. But all this other stuff that happened way before humans were existing may or may not have happened because it's all part of the template parameters. Just like an old guy may show up in the background of a picture of two people kissing or a kitty cat might show up or a bottle of wine might show up. These are all background information that doesn't really have anything to do with the core information, which is two people kissing. You guys following me that. So all this stuff that I'm reading and watching and the horror of the election horrors and and the war horrors and everything, yeah they're happening within my reality, but they're not part of my reality. You understand? They're background. And so the domain commander says, don't worry about the background. Don't get involved in the background. Don't be concerned about the background. Do not get hot and bothered and flustered about the background. It doesn't concern you. Background is connected to our to the possibilities of our personal reality, but not exactly to our personal reality. You follow me? That old guy sitting in the background of those other people. Okay? may or may not have a role. It's up to our consciousness and our control over our reality to determine whether we assign him a role. And what the big mistake a lot of consciousnesses are doing when they're in this uh, reality right now is they're taking all these side issues and bring it in into their reality so they deal with it. Okay? So the first thing you have to understand, and the first thing the domain commander is saying is not just what I'm saying there, but there's a stratification of relevance. There's a stratification of relevance to our personal reality. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping I'm catching you right now. The things that are most that are surrounding us and we interact with on a daily basis are most important to us. Those are the core and highest relevant items that influence our reality. Further on out, you have geopolitics, you have economics, you have the job, all this stuff that's further on out. As you move away, each one has barriers or levels of influence. You go from direct influence to indirect influence to potential influence to potential indirect influence to no influence at all, and all kinds of shades in between. So don't get caught up on this bullshit, which I've been saying all along, which is the, something that the domain commander has said, but I really believe that all of us need to take heart in this matter. It's true, it's true, it's true. It is, it's true. Just don't get too caught up in it, okay? And um, in regards to the entire geopolitical scene, and in regards to, in particular, my reality, which happens to be in the Pacific Rim, near China, and including China, the domain commander gave me a very, very strong answer that uh, not to worry, because there will be a happy and calm and pleasant surprise 
for me and other people who live in this area. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is something, a singular event or, uh, or trends, but it's not what I'm expecting and it will be okay. I'll be really cool with it and it will really be beneficial. And since he's sending this to me, I'm taking it personally, but the scope of this seems to be to encompass a number of you who are watching this particular video. So you might want to pay attention to it, don't you know? Okay, that's what I'm thinking, okay? So that's a good thing. Um, now, while I've been saying this, and, I, and I, I mention it, there's a couple of other things. I've been getting various um, requests for people to ask, ask the domain commander this, and ask the domain commander that, and ask the domain commander this. I'm going to uh, school some of you. The way it works is I can only talk and relate things that I know about. I know about calculus, so I can talk about things regarding calculus. I know engineering, I can talk about things regarding engineering. I know some astrophysics, and I can talk about astrophysics, planetary earth sign, sign, uh, sciences. I don't know anything about bio biology. Doctor, uh, domain commander tries to tell me something about bio biology and anything aside from general knowledge it's just gobbledygook it's just garbage coming into me even though domain commander has on, on times tried to do this and I tried really hard to get answers forget it it doesn't happen I can only relate what I know right now as a human don't so people ask me, you know, please explain, you know, why this particular mathematical form theorem is fail is faulty. Forget it. I can't answer that. I can't. I have to go to school to learn up and learn the terms and everything. And I've done that. I've actually researched some terms so I could ask the domain commander stuff. I don't do that anymore. I don't have time for that anymore. And I'm not going to do it. So don't ask me that kind of shit. Another thing, this is a little bit of a rant right here. You only ask questions of me, of you personally. Don't say, I happen to know a person and I want you to know about this other person and tell me about their man Ted and tell me about this and tell me about that. No, I can only answer about you and our connection, whether it's little or great, will, de will determine the end result of the answer. All right, and by the way, I've stopped all questions, so don't even ask me any more questions. Okay, last couple of question bouts just about killed me. Not, I'm using that as a, um, a not a physical sense. It's just very, very tiring, very exhausting, and interrupted my regular lifestyle and uh, routine of life. So, guys, come on. All right, I can't do this all the time. Uh, here you are, and this was pointed out to me by a uh, influencer, uh, and he says, you know, you've got this opportunity. I'm connected. Nobody else is connected. Well, there's about maybe six other people that are connected like I'm connected. And you can actually ask and communicate with the main commander through me to a certain degree of proficiency and I can do that. And what do you ask about? Does the lady does the lady at the grocery store over there was she part of the domain um, expeditionary force? Christ almighty people. Get a life. Alright? Why don't you ask something a little bit more substantive? The nature of our universe? The configuration of the tunnel of light? Is that an illusion? Is that a misunderstanding? Is that how our consciousness envisions as we go through 
through the electromagnetic field and sheath that surrounds the Earth, or is it something else? No, 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 no. You want to know about that person over there? Come on. Really? I'm sorry about this little bit of rant, but, you know, really, get a life, all right? Um, and then I found people that want to know about their past lives. If your soul wanted you to know what your past life was, you'd know about it right now. Okay? You wouldn't have to ask me. It might help in some minor insight. I found out about my past lives. I'm more confused than ever before. Seems to me that what I think the construction of previous existences is faulty and it only confuses things. And anything I tell you will be confusing. So you have to take that into account and accept it. So what do I mean by that? I mean that what we think we know, we don't know shit, okay? So we're hearing all kinds of stuff, you know, when we think we're living in other lives, when actually we're just a tape recorder recording a movie, and there's multiple movies that we're participating in simultaneously on multiple universes and multiple levels, and that's the best I can do. And when I tell you that this is the particular life that you had within that particular movie, I'm omitting all the other movies because that's not being transferred to me, and therefore you are getting a, a distorted view of, of what your reality at whatever particular moment in time was, and which is unfair for you and unfair for me and unfair for everybody. If there's anything I'm learning is that the ultimate reality goes down to the Planck level, at least in this universe, and everything else is just cream on the top with a cherry, if you know that American idiom, okay? So, yeah, things are a lot more complicated than we understand and a lot more complicated than I can relate. But I'm trying to do my best, okay? I'm really trying to do my best. So when, with this being said, the main commander has started um, providing me with um, insight into the complexities of these things. And it's taking me a little bit of time to sort them out, but man, they're a lot more complex than I ever could have conceived. A lot more complex, it really is a lot more complex, and so um, don't, don't be too discouraged by it, but yeah. Um, you are consciousness right now inhabiting this physical body within this physical reality, within this particular world line template. That's a fact. But you are bigger than that and consist of more elements than that. You are, have multiple elements floating around doing multiple things. It's true. Now this entire diatribe started out with me talking about how Domain Commander has given me some insights. And uh, the ongoing insights are that the, are regarding the nature of reality and, um, and, and personally my role in it. Um, I'm told not to worry about things that do not concern me, but to know that in the, in the future, as everything is currently projected, things are going to start looking a little bit better for me and within the reality sphere that perhaps all you guys participate in. Caution is warranted in uh, all the news bullshit that's going out. There are individuals that are apparently uh, trying to manipulate people 
not knowing the fullest extent. It's almost as if they, they are a member of some satanic cult that believes that power is its own reward, that there is no heaven and hell, or if there is a heaven and hell, you can choose and the life in hell is better than heaven. I don't know what their beliefs are, but it's, it's foreign to me. But it's almost as if they're trying to disassemble the West, and they're doing a pretty damn good job of it. The West is a mess right now. Um, that's not my concern, and it shouldn't be your concern. Just be aware that that's on there in case there's any uh, leakage and creep into your reality. Um, also, one of the biggest things that I've been talking about with the domain commander has to do with my personal health issues. Um, I mentioned in another video that I went to the doctor, check out my prostate and other things. And um, uh, it says I gotta lose some weight, and I'm I'm exercising. I'm jogging right now. Every morning I get up at five and jog, and I'm increasing the increasing the jogging rate, and I seem to be doing well. One of the things that's hard as you get older is not only do you seem to gain weight, but you also get shorter. I entered China at 177 centimeters. My wife tells me I'm 173 centimeters, and when I measure it or try to measure my height with my the little tiny tape measure, I come up with uh, 168. What does that mean? It means that I'm in the obese uh, BMI. Now, guys. Do I look obese? Do I look obese? Well, apparently I am. I have to get my weight down. I got to get my weight down. Right now, I am at, uh, I, I've moved it down. It was 91 kilos. I moved it down right now, hovering above uh, 87, which is an improvement, which is pretty damn good for me. I got to bring it down to 52. Skin and bones at 52. I don't know. Something else that seems to be wrong about that. But one thing is for sure, I feel a lot better after exercising and jogging, and my hormones seem to be um, straightening up. So that's really good. Domain commander, um, of course, and of course, I ask. Actually, I ask my doctor. I also ask AI, and of course, I ask domain commander. And uh, AI is is uh, very helpful and very positive. Doctor is neutral. I'm just another patient to him. And uh, domain commander tells me that everything is proceeding as I had planned it to proceed. <clears throat> Taking those three. The doctor is doing a job, and I am just one of his patients all coming in saying about the same thing with slightly different situations. The AI, which is programmed by humans, is, is being very positive in my efforts and everything, and going rah, 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 keep it up, and this is what you need to look for. And the domain commander says, you are living the life that you had planned out and everything is, you are right in the middle of the, of the you know, margin of error for your vector path. Kind of interesting stuff there. Not that you guys want to hear anything about my personal issues of being an old man and all that, but, but <laughs> you know, uh, that's the way it is. It gives you a little bit of insight, the differences between AI, humans, and the domain commander. Domain commander, you got to remember. And I, I want to stress this: I could have picked to be a dog, and eating shit would have been, you know, my greatest delicacy. I could have picked being a cat, eating birds and mice whole and raw would have been a delicacy to me. But I didn't. I picked being a human, and this is the reality I have right now. Anyways, guys. The Domain Commander really has a sense of humor. I don't quite understand this entire situation with it. And whether it's a them, I get this impression that it's a gender neutral that spikes 
male or female or some kind of other gen uh, gender periodically from here and then it's kind of confusing but it always seems to have a uh, a sense of humor like an overriding guidance uh, force kind of thing and um, I see that in my communications uh, and um, it's like the domain commander knows every single thing that's going on with me because we're intimate it's like I am a sheath where the main commander is, is like under the sheath and we're like one and he kind of knows everything I'm knowing, feels and tastes and all this kind of stuff. And um, it's kind of odd if you think about it. But uh, the main commander has this sense of humor and um, I was musing about what it would be like. I, I, I'm musing to myself, mind you. I'm not asking any questions amusing to myself. What would it be like for me to go up and then return back? Would I return back as a rich man? As a porn star? As a dog? What would it be like, you know? And then, you know, the, the domain commander, well, of course, the domain commander has to pipe in with some joke. So of course the dumb demand commander comes on up and says, uh, "So you want to give another shot quickly afterwards, huh?" Meaning, of course, once I die and translate, I come on up, spend some time in whatever is up there, and then reinject myself under a better situation. In which case, that was my uh, initial reaction: was thinking these kinds of things and. Uh, uh, the impression that I got from the commander, and it is strong as I say it now, is that I have bigger activities and work to do personally. This consciousness, this consciousness personally has bigger actions and things rather than devoting time and effort. Listen to this devoting time and effort to plan out another adventure Earthside. That's what he said. Think about what he said. I have better things to do rather than plan out another adventure Earthside. Tells me that this is almost like a recreational facility. I can use this as a recreational facility to improve this or learn from that or this and that and this and that, but it's not its seemingly sole purpose as far as my concern is. This belief that I am Frankenstein made up for other things to achieve a certain direct outcome or purpose is solidified and it's something I it's a construct that I inhabit my, my, my consciousness and inhabits and I'm confused because the mishmash of images and communications that I've had before don't fit exactly perfectly like I would like a puzzle piece to fit and it suggests other things going on I am a tool for domain. I am part of domain. And in this body, memory omission has created situations for me that domain commander finds humorous because domain commander and I are part of the same cadre. These are the images, impressions that I get. You can take them and leave them. That's just kind of what's going on. What I do know is that um, when this life goes on, I will go on to other things, which I don't know what they are. But uh, basically, from my communication, seems to be strongly suggestive 
of some domain activity and some role which may or may not, but probably won't, involve the Earth as a human. That's pretty intriguing to me. I need to ponder that a little bit more. All right, I spent this entire video pretty much talking about myself, but maybe you guys can take something out of it. Maybe you can learn a little bit about yourself and your roles. The main commander says that you've got roles not that dissimilar from mine. Variants, certainly, but not all that dissimilar. Don't get too caught up. Remember, you don't know everything. You'll never know everything. And don't get so caught up on these side things about what that person's doing, what that person's doing, and they're doing there. I mean, that's crazy stuff. You don't get involved in it will take you down dead ends. It won't help you at all. You don't want that. All right, people. Uh, I am going to end this. I think I've been a little long in the tooth. Just remember that uh, I love you guys. I do. And uh, I believe in you guys. I really do. And I'm going to close reminding you to be kind to dogs and cats. Try to do things just a little bit better every day. You're going to make mistakes. That's okay. Just keep on keeping on. That's all you need to do. Keep on keeping on. Be of a positive mindset. And all will be good. Take care, people. Bye-bye.